This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing a second update video on the original one based on the blockbuster snips when my brother-in-law's cousin actually tested and then we had a non-family member test and was expecting to see some blocks, uh, snip blocks break up. To recap, the two snips in question are FT43663 and FT461132. The cousin actually showed as a no call to the FT43663 and it turns out that one was in the center mirror. And then the FT461132, both of them were derived for it, but none of them show up on the haplo tree. Well, the second one turns out that it is a, in the palindrome region of G1. So let's see what FTDNA actually came back with as a response to my request to add these two to the haplo tree. Message from FTDNA phylogenetic expert. Quote, these two were left off the haplo tree. Both are marginal, lower quality SNPs. FT43663 is in the centromere, and the FT461132 is within a palindrome, or G1, and can be erratic, unreliable. These continue to be tracked, though they are not placed on the tree at the moment. That was the response I received along with a few other statements from the support group and the expert. This is the crux of the information. What that means is the terminal step will remain as is on the tree indefinitely. Now I still have some questions out to back to the support group for FTDNA and potentially to the phylogenetic expert if he responds to those requests. So for now, this is how the block tree stands. If in the future, there is a possibility that this changes, I will do a follow-up or a final update on this project presentation video series. But as for now, it's done. The block tree is broken down as far as it's going to be, and that's where we're at. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing right here or watch some of these other videos, and let's continue learning together.